everybody. Welcome to another episode with the Grim Ripper. Today is Monday. I'd like to welcome everybody to the channel today. Those of you who are new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button today. Become a subscriber to the channel. Make that a public subscription as well, because if you are publicly subscribed and you comment on the videos, then you get the opportunity to be in Friday giveaways. And we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video. Also, if you have not participated in our Saturday skirmish, I would encourage you to do so. There will be a link in the description of this video that will take you to our website where you can buy your entrance into the Saturday skirmish. This coming Saturday, we're going to be using as our weapons of war packs of 2020 Tops Big League. So head on over to the to the shop on the GrimRippersDen.com and uh, get your spot for the skirmish. Uh, we have limited spots this week because I only have a limited number of packs of the big league. So we're going to be limited to six contestants this, this week. So uh, if we could get six of you to sign up, that would be awesome. All right, let's get into today's opening. It is Monday Madness today. So we usually open up packs that have a chance of getting some good rookie cards. And so we're going to go back in time a little bit today. I know, know that normally that's our Tuesday thing. But we're going to go all the way back to 1988 and open one of my favorite sets. 1988 Fleer. And I have some unopened rack packs here. They have three packs in each one. So we'll be opening a total of six uh, individual wax packs. Now some of the cool players that we can find in this particular set, as far as rookies, uh, Hall of Famer Edgar Martinez rookie card is uh, $35 in PSA 10 condition. Hall of Famer Tom Glavin has his rookie card in this set. His goes for $25 P uh, PSA 10. You have a uh, Chicago uh, Cubs great Mark Grace. His rookie is in this set. His is also $25 at a PSA 10. Hall of Famer Ozzie Smith. 25 bucks. Bo Jackson is a $40, 30 to $40 card in PSA 10 condition. And then you also have Don Mattingly, who ranges anywhere from $20 to $25 in PSA 10 condition. And then, of course, we have the chance for all of the great Hall of Famers from back in the day. You know, Nolan Ryan, Mike Schmidt, all kinds of guys, anyway. So we'll watch for those. And uh, I think Mark McGuire is in this set, his second year. Jose Canseco would be in this set and we'll watch for other stars and hall of famers as we go along so let's get going on this and we'll see what we can find so the best way to open these maybe scissors or a knife huh i don't know there we go we'll do this. now also there are these uh, limited edition headliner cards that come out of these. And if I remember correctly, these these uh, look like a newspaper headline, and I always like getting those cards out of here. Because these are a wax pack, we're of course going to get a wax stain on the bottom card of every pack, so they'll be like a sacrificial card. Okay, here we go. On the top of every pack, you're going to get these stickers. And here's the headliner card from this rack pack. It is the Dwight Gooden headliner. And there are six cards in this set. So he's number five of six. So that's Dwight Gooden we'll start off with. And I like this set because of the colors, the white border with the uh, sort of the red, white, and blue stripes. Now, interestingly, they go blue, white, red instead of red, white, blue. So it actually makes a bunch of little French flags along here because that's what their flag looks like. So that's kind of funny. All right, then we have an Eric King as our next card. Gus Polidor, Larry Parrish, Craig Lefferts, Carney Lansford, Oh yeah, I remember this card. Tim Flannery with his surfboard. I thought it was such an odd an odd card to have in a baseball set. I'm not I don't know the story behind that. Uh, it would be interesting to know why he decided to uh, pose with a surfboard. 
anyway Bob Stanley Howard Johnson Ron Guidry Bob Walk Mark Davidson Jeff Calhoun and our wax stained card is Brett Butler oh they're actually opening the wrong pack there back to the one we've already sliced into alright pack number two of this 1988 Fleer rack pack now there's someone who's been playing for a long time since 1975 who could that be Ken Schramm hmm. there's a Bush Stadium that's going to be Cardinals right there sticker start off with Harold Reynolds move on to a Lee Tunnel Walt Terrell kick him back Mark Ryall, Pete O'Brien, Candy Maldonado, and Eric Plunk. None of the big, big ones we're looking for yet. There's the oil can, Mr. Oil Can Boyd, Dwight Gooden's base, uh, base card, Dave Rigetti, Patterson, Newman, Carmen and there's Ken Schramm. I wanted to see the back of that card. Okay, some of those are his, a lot of those, as a matter of fact, are his minor leagues. Wow, most of these are minor leagues. He played in uh, Salt Lake City, which is just down the street from me, about 25 miles back in the 70s. Would have been with the, back then, I think they were the, the Trappers. I can't remember if they were the Trappers or the Bees back then. Okay, wow. I didn't realize they put like his entire minor league career on the back of that card. That is a lot of stats. All right, third pack from this wrap pack. And our sacrificial lamb is going to be Rafael Santana. He'll take the wax stain. Got the Cubs sticker. That's my team, the Cubs. Got Keith Moreland. Ted Higuera. Jeff Dedman. Hoping for some of these big names to come up here. Any, any kind of Hall of Famer. I don't think we've even had a single Hall of Famer yet. There's Willie Hernandez. Benito Santiago. I'd like to get something good. I really like the set. Uh, Vance Law, I think he is the uh, pitching coach down at BYU now, Brigham Young University here in Utah. Concepcion and Rafael Santana. Wow, that was a disappointing rack pack. Let's hope this second one is better than that. I'm just going to slice all three packs out of here right now. Alrighty then. There we go. see who we can find in this second rack pack. Hopefully this one is better than the one we just opened. Jerry Royster, another guy with like 95 years of stats on the back of his card. All kinds of, well, hit the Dodgers in 1972, 1973 season, so he at least has a lot of major league stats there. The Astros sticker, there's Matt Noakes. Oh, there we go. Tony Gwynn, our first Hall of Famer. And we're going to follow him up with Cal Ripken Jr. That will make up a little bit for the uh, packs we had earlier. Nice looking cards there. Of course, they're, they're not... Uh, 
the ones we're looking for. I, I didn't actually look up the prices on those particular cards, probably because they weren't uh, they weren't more than fifteen dollars. I usually don't count those because it's going to cost you ten to fifteen dollars just to get them PSA graded. So usually isn't worth sending in those cards unless you're trying to make a set of a particular PSA grade. Edwin Correa, David Cohn, Greg Minton, Kent Tukalev, a silly grin on his face pointing into his mitt, kind of weird. There's Ryan Sandberg and Ozzie Smith, that's a superstar specials card they call that, Masters of the Double Play. And Jose Okendo. Okay, let's see if we can get some more Hall of Famers out of these packs. Seems like the back card of every pack is somebody... This is Ken Schramm again. This looks like a repeat of that other pack we had. Yep. Harold Reynolds, Lee Tunnel, Walt Terrell. Unless something changes up, this is going to be just like that other pack. Ending with Ken Schramm. Yep, so far, the exact match for that previous pack. Al Newman, Carmen, and Schramm. That's disappointing to get a repeat pack. Especially a repeat pack that didn't have much to begin with. A Dodger sticker. Here's our headliner, Don Mattingly. I like Don Mattingly. That's number one of six. Neil Heaton. There's another Hall of Famer, George Brett. So we've got three Hall of Famers on our board now. There's Terry McGriff, Bobby Witt, John Mitchell, Doug DeCincis, Milt Thompson, Rob Ducey, Chuck Krim and Henry Cotto, Mr. Fisher, Gary Gaetti. There's a checklist. And Dave Steeb. Well, that'll do it for the card opening portion tonight of the video. Well, we got three Hall of Famers and a couple of uh, good headliner cards. Maybe as we open some more of these, we'll be able to finish off the headliner set and hopefully find some of those um, great players that we were looking for. We didn't pull a single one of the rookies that we were looking for, not a single Bo Jackson out of there. Bo Jackson is actually the most expensive card in this set, it would seem, even more so than the Hall of Famer Edgar Martinez. All right, well, I would thank all of you for dropping by and spending some time with me this evening. Be sure to hit the Grim Ripper's Den and get signed up for Saturday Skirmish. Tomorrow we're going to continue our Time Travel Tuesday looking for the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card in the 89 Donruss set. Uh, we've been opening uh, boxes of that from a sealed case that I purchased a while back. And I think we're on our second box, about to finish that one off. So, um... Anyway, check out the website, check us out on Patreon, make sure you hit the like button before you leave uh, the video tonight. And uh, one more thing we need to do, we need to get our next name onto the random wheel of name, or the, the random yeah, wheel of names for this weekend. So far, Adam's Card Closet and Steve Rademacher are on the list. Let me go over here to my YouTube channel. I'm going to pause for just a minute while I get the camera set up so that you can see the spinning of the, or the choosing of the random comments. So we'll be right back. All right, everyone, here we go. Let's go ahead and get a random comment picked out from yesterday's video. Yesterday was Sunday Stacks, so we're going to click on the Sunday Stacks video here, copy our link, and we're going to go here and paste that link in right there. Filter out duplicate users. Get the comments. 12 unique commenters from yesterday's video. Come down here. We're going to now choose which one of those 12 
commenters will end up on the picker wheel for Friday. Here we go. And we have MTB Sports Productions. Congratulations, MTB Sports Productions. You will be on the picker wheel for Friday. One of seven people who will be on that wheel the end of the week. So far, we have Adam's Card Closet, Steve Rademacher, and now MTB Sports Productions. All right, so it is important that you watch each day's video and comment on it the day that it comes out because that is how we're picking the uh, people for the spinning wheel each Friday. At the end of each video, I will choose someone from the video that was put up the day before. So there we go. That takes care of that piece of business for today. Thanks again for dropping by. I hope all of you have a wonderful evening, and I will see everyone tomorrow for Time Travel Tuesday. Have a great evening.